Whoa, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now today is another tipping video. We got footy at 5.40 p.m. today. How good is this? The footy festival 2.0 just rolling on. We got a break yesterday, which is good. I need my mind to have a mental break from footy a little bit. But um, we're back today for Football Frenzy again. And uh, yeah, so let's get straight into the tips. Only six games this week, so it'll be a very short video this one. But um, enjoy it nevertheless. First game is between Hawthorne and Adelaide. And listen, okay, listen here, buddies, friends, compadres, companions, whatever, amigos. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised if Adelaide showed up and won this game. I actually wouldn't be surprised. I feel like Hawthorne, they're in a bit of a strange patch right now. And it's very hard to tip Adelaide though. It is very hard. You, you just don't know if they're going to win this one. So to be safe, I'm going to tip Hawthorne by 13 points. But I I'll put like a side tip on that I think Adelaide can win this game. I wouldn't be surprised. So it's like win-win situation for me. Next game is between the Eagles and Essendon. Very tough match for Essendon. It's a much needed win for them if they can get up in this one, but I just don't think they can. I think like the Eagles are just a tad little wee too strong. So I'm gonna tip the Eagles in this one by 22 points. I'm sure the Bombers will come out fighting because they know that they are top eight chances on the line in this game. Finals chances on the line even bigger. So yeah, but I just feel like the Eagles are a bit too strong. They, they just failed last week against the Tigers. They still put up a challenge though. But yeah, I still feel like the Eagles will nail this one by 22 points over the Bombers. Next, we have the class between Richmond and Fremantle. Now, we've had a lot of close Richmond and Fremantle games in past memory. We've had David Mundy 1 and we've had David Mundy 2. But uh, can David Mundy 3 happen? Probably not. So I'm going to go Richmond in this one by 26 points. I feel like they're just in red hot form. They're playing at Metricon Stadium. They're starting to build a fortress at bloody Metricon. There's a lot of Richmond fans down at Metricon Stadium, which is mad for them, which is good for them as well. Um, the Dockers, they got absolutely polexed by the Giants last week, and the Giants weren't that in form, and then the, they came out last week and just polexed the Dockers. So it's a bit of a warning sign for the Dockers, and now they're coming up against Richmond at Metricon away from home. So yeah, all of that combined, I just feel like Richmond will be too good and will win by 26 points, as I've already said, so yeah. Alright, next we have Sydney versus Melbourne at wherever it is. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go Melbourne in this one by 23 points. They uh, looked good, last well they didn't look the best, but they got over the line last week and now I feel like they'll come out this week absolutely firing guns at the Sydney Swans. The Sydney Swans... They're in a heap. They're in an absolute heap. I mean, I'm, I know they challenge the power at, in Adelaide, but Melbourne, when they turn it on, they bloody turn it on, and I feel like they'll be able to turn it on in this one against the Swans. So that's why I'm going to go Melbourne. That's 23 points. Second last game. Amazing. GWS versus Carlton. Um, Jeez, this is going to be very, uh, like... It'll be a close one. I'm sure Carlton will come out firing, but I just feel like from what GWS showed last week, this, they were really strong. Jeremy Cameron was really strong. Himmelberg was really strong. All there, all everything just clicked last week for the Giants. So I'm going to go the Giants in this one by 18 points. Blues coming off a disappointing loss to Collingwood, um, and you know the Giants are much more. Well, not much more better, but they're just like they've got so much more class in their lineup. You know. I mean, Colin would have class here and there, but I feel like the Giants just have a combined really good class team. So, in this one, I'm going to go to the Giants by 18 points. But, I, you know, Carlton could get up. I'm not saying that they couldn't, but I just feel like the Giants will get up. Last game of the week sees the Lions take on my Magpies. Now, I never, ever have tipped against the Magpies, I think. I don't know. Have I? Just go back and look for me. Maybe I have once or twice, but... I'm going to tip against them this week as much as it pains me to do. I just feel like the Lions have the more maturity about them this year than the Pies do. I'm sure the Pies will bring up a chance, but I just feel like it's a home game for the Lions. I'd want to beat the Pies to show that they're really a contender for the flag. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if my team got up, which I'm hoping they do, no doubt. But like, I just feel like the Lions will be just an inch too good over us. Maybe I'm just saying this so, Colin, so you know... Um, 
yeah, Collingwood can get up and just like, haha, oh, I tip the Lions because every time I tip Collingwood, we lose. So it's like a change. But I do actually think the Lions are a bit more mature than we are at this stage of the season. So yeah, that's why I've gone the Lions in this one by 13 points over us. So yeah, that concludes the tipping for this week. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in another video soon. Cheers.